And now to the sexed message featuring former Miss California USA Carrie Prejean and new questions about exactly how old she was when she made it. NBC's Jeff Rawson has the latest. Jeff, good morning. Hi, Meredith. Good to see you. Normally, it's a slam dunk, right? You're a celebrity. You write a book. You make the media rounds to promote it. Carrie Prejean did all of that this week, including an appearance, as you remember, right here on Today. But now, it's her so-called solo sex tape sending this book tour on a detour. Before we get to the book, obviously everybody wants to know about this sex tape that surfaced last week. Carrie Prejean started the week unable to escape the tape. It was for, you know, private use. And now ends the week with private photos going public. TMZ has obtained these images of Prejean and her ex-boyfriend on a romantic trip. He claims along with these pictures, Prejean shot 15 to 20 sex videos for him. It's the biggest mistake of my life. And did I th think it would come out now and haunt me? No. So you made this tape when you were 17 years old. Is it basically an example of sexting? something you sent? Um, yeah, I think now they call it sexting. But now Prejean's ex-boyfriend says she's lying, that she wasn't 17 like she claims, but instead 20 years old when she made the sex tape. In a phone interview with TMZ, the anonymous ex-boyfriend said Prejean asked him to lie about her age too. It was very simple. I said, hell no, I won't. She's not the girl that she's portraying herself to be. California, Carrie Prejean. This former Miss California rose to fame while competing in the Miss USA pageant. I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there. Carrie yeah. Prejean lost her crown and sued California. the Miss California USA organization for libel, slander, and religious discrimination. She later settled the case, which leads us to another bizarre moment this week. Larry, you're being inappropriate. You really are. So I'm what? not going to talk about... I'm asking a question. Not, Wednesday night, she was a guest on Larry King Live. He pressed Prejean about the settlement. Larry, it's completely it confidential, and you're being inappropriate. Okay. Uh, okay? So all you're right. Being, you're inappropriate being King Live continues. Yes. Then, in a rare move, Prejean whispers to someone off camera and takes off her microphone. Is she leaving? Because I asked what motivated the settlement. Yeah, I think that you are being extremely inappropriate right now, and I'm about to leave your show. Awkward moments, embarrassing moments, ending a week-long blitz for a book called Still Standing. She's going to get a lot of attention. The sex tape, walking off Larry King. There's a lot of buzz about her right now. I say she sells some books in the short term. Long term, it doesn't look good for her because I can't figure out what she does after this for an encore. Interesting week for sure. In the end, Prejean only threatened to leave Larry King's set. She never actually did. Her publisher now tells NBC News, due to the confidentiality agreement which Carrie signed, she must decline to comment on any and all questions regarding a so-called sex tape. Her legal counsel has now advised her to severely limit all her public statements and appearances. So following that late Thursday, Prejean canceled the speaking engagement to a group of Republicans in Washington. Meredith? All right, Jeff, thank you. You know, we asked the same thing here. What's the motive behind the settlement? And she just, she won't answer that question, which is interesting. She well, says, she's... I can't discuss the particulars of the settlement, but the, those are two separate things. I'd love to have her back here just to talk about that. All right, Carrie, so I hope you're see. listening. So if you can talk.